Okay, right here is a 1963 Euclid 5LLD Series R62 off-road truck. The LLD Series haulers are probably some of the most cool and memorable Euclid trucks and were also the largest tandem axle twin-engine rear dump haulers ever built by the Euclid division of General Motors. The LLD Series began in 1951 with the launch of the model 1 LLD. What you are looking at right here is the last upgraded version of the LLD series before they were discontinued. This is a model 5 LLD introduced in 1959 as an upgrade for the older 3 LLD. Its brother was the 6 LLD introduced in 1960 as an upgrade for the older 4 LLD. Now originally when the 5 and 6 LLDs were first introduced they retained the same payload capacity as the older 3 and 4 LLDs, which was 55 tons. It wasn't until Euclid boosted the payload capacity of these trucks in 1961 when the 5 and 6 LLDs officially became known as the R62 series. Later on, in 1963, the R62 series received their final upgrade. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this big uke. Okay, the big R62 is what you call a twin-engine tandem drive truck. And the reason why this truck was designed with twin engines is because back in the early 1950s, there was no single engine that could generate the necessary output to power a truck of this size. And any engines at this time that could generate the power were too large and heavy to be installed in the truck. So because of this, Euclid engineers designed a twin-engine truck. Now, let's take a look at how this works. The two diesel engines that power this truck are mounted side by side next to each other. And as you're going to see, each diesel engine drives its own transmission and rear axle. Now, let's go and take a look at these diesel engines. The 5LLD was GM powered, utilizing twin Detroit 6110 two cycle inline six cylinder diesel engines, which worked together to produce 632 horsepower for this truck. The brother to this truck, the 6LLD, was Cummins powered, utilizing twin NT335 four cycle inline six cylinder diesel engines, which worked together to produce 613 horsepower for the truck. Prior to 1963, the older six LLDs utilized twin Cummins NRTO 6BI turbo diesels with the same power output as the newer NT. 335s. And how these engines work together is very simple. The left side diesel engine drives the front axle and the right side diesel engine drives the rear axle. The R62 utilized independent front leaf spring suspension for the front axle, which you can see right under here.
and another upgrade that was made to the R62 series in 1963 was a redesigned operator's cab, which featured a more square design, which you can see right here on this unit. Okay, let's climb aboard. From here you can get a good overview of the inside of the operator's cab on the R62. Okay, all the gauges that you see out in front here monitor the entire truck when it's in operation. This first gauge you see over here is for the oil pressure. The one below it is for the clutch pressure. This is the converter oil temperature, start air pressure, amp meter. This gauge right here monitors the oil pressure for the left side diesel engine. And below it, the gauge monitors the oil pressure for the right side diesel engine. These two gauges are for the water temperature for the two engine radiators. Off to my right, right here you can see the speedometer and right here is where the tachometer used to be. This hand lever that you see over here on my right side is the gear shift for the transmission. There are six forward speeds, neutral and reverse. This hand lever you see right down here is the emergency parking brake. The big hand lever you see right here next to the operator's seat controls the retarder. On the floor you can see the gas and brake pedals. And off to my left side, this hand lever you see down here by the operator's seat controls the dump box to raise, hold, float, and lower it. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were driving an R62. And as you can imagine, with two Detroit 6110 diesels underneath the hood, the noise level inside the cab of this truck would be excruciating. Also, as you can see, this cab is not very well insulated, which means not only will it pick up a lot of noise and vibration from the engine, but it will also get extremely hot in the summertime. Mounted directly between the operator's cab and the dump box sits the diesel fuel tank, which holds 445 gallons of fuel. As I mentioned earlier, both the 5 and 6 LLDs were originally rated at 55 ton capacity. However, in 1961, Euclid redesigned the dump box to allow the trucks to carry 62 tons on their back. Euclid achieved this by constructing the box out of high and low alloy steels, which both strengthened and reduced the effective weight of the box by some 5 tons when compared to the original dump box. Right here, you can see the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which holds 40 gallons of oil. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the drivetrain on this truck. The R62 utilized two Euclid Model 50RA heavy duty full floating drive axles with single reduction carriers and planetary reduction in each wheel.
The two rear axles on this truck operate independently from each other and are mounted to a central pivot point to provide bogey action. And from under here you can get a good view looking at the two transmissions on this truck. The R62 featured the Allison Torquematic drive system, which enabled two transmissions to be shifted together by a single gear lever. The two transmissions that you are looking at here are Allison CLBT 5660s. These are Torquematic and full power shift transmissions with integral torque converters. These transmissions replace the older Allison CLBT 5640 transmissions when the truck was upgraded in 1963. And here you can see the two drive shafts which run back to power the two rear axles. If you look right here on the side of the truck frame, you can see the metal plate that says Eucla Division of General Motors Corporation and the truck model a 5LLD. On the right side, here you can see the two air tanks. And if you look on the side of the truck box, you can still see what remains of the original Euclid decal. The box on this truck is operated by two Euclid built three stage double acting hoist cylinders which are mounted inside the frame of the truck. The overall empty operating weight of an R62 is 59 tons. Both the 5 and 6 LLDs remained in production until 1964 when the trucks were discontinued from Euclid's product line which thus closed the book on the R62 series. And in total, 55 5 LLDs and 29 6 LLDs were produced by Euclid. But there she is, the flagship hauler of the Euclid Division of General Motors Corporation, a 1963 Model 5 LLD Series R62.